Shabbat Mejo. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, and the Son, Yahweh Shai. And uh, I'm going to talk about this uh, particular book um, called The Ten Tribes of Israel, or the True History of the North American Indians, showing that they are the descendants of these ten tribes. And this is by uh, <clears throat> Timothy R. Jenkins. a little dark but hope you can see that and uh, this book this book was compiled by uh, this guy Timothy R. Jenkins uh, from various accounts of, of different um, different scholars and 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 people that were among the so-called Native Americans and who uh, wrote down, uh, basically wrote down um, just uh, how they lived, their customs and all that. And uh, uh, Tim, this Timothy R. Jenkins guy, he wrote, he compiled this book because he came to the conclusion that um, uh, the so-called so -called Native Americans were in fact uh, the so-called ten lost tribes of Israel. So I'm going to get into it, and as you can see here, this is the original cover of the book, and this book was published in in Springfield, Ohio, by Huck and Smith Publishers in 1883 see that and uh... this cover here it's just a printout it ain't the original cover but I'm gonna get to the point and the point is uh... Not only were these so-called Native Americans uh, Israelites, but they also they also knew the name of the Father and the Son. And um, I'm going to prove that in here. I'm going to turn to uh, page 168. And I'm going to start at on page 167 and this is under the chapter their public worship and religious opinions and this uh, this is uh, several accounts by uh, by a reverend mr. Bernard around 1745 and uh, I'm gonna get down to a certain feast he he observed. Uh, the natives were um, or were celebrating, and I'm gonna start under their feast of love. Under where it says their feast of love, so luck. <clears throat> All right. Every spring season. The town, or more of, of the Mississippi Floridians, sorry, let me read that, let me read that again. Every spring season, one town or more of the Mississippi Floridians keep a solemn feast of love to renew their old friendships. They call this annual feast Hatuk. Amipa Hatlatana, that in the, that is the people eat, dance, and walk as twin brothers. The short name of the feast is Hata. Impona, that is eating by a strong religious and social principle, and social principles. 
and social principle, sorry. Impara signifies as I am informed. Several threads or strands twine together. They assemble three nights before the feast. On the fourth night they eat together. During the intermediate space, the young men and women dance in circles from the evening till the morning. And uh, this is the point. When they uh, when they meet at night, it is professed to be to be to gladden and unite their hearts before Yehovah. Uh, before Yehovah or Yahweh, they sing. They sing Yehovah Shoi, Yehovah Shoi, Yehovah Shu, Yehovah Shu, or Yehovah She, Yehovah She. Yehovah Shai. See that, and I apologize for the for the blurry camera. Yehovah, Sh Yehovah Shai. With great energy. The first word is nearly in the Hebrew characters, the name of Joshua, Joshua, our Savior. <clears throat> so yeah. You know these so-called natives. Uh, they knew about, they knew about the father, and they were, they were basically uttering his name, and uh, they were uttering the name of the son, Yahweh. You know, for further proof. And uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of brothers or, I would say people. I'm saying that so-called Native Americans and Latinos are not Israelites, but, you know, they haven't really looked into the books like this. I mean, the evidence, it's, the evidence is just countless, you know. You can't refute it. You know, various scholars like James Adair, Ronald Sanders, you know, this guy right here have written about it. And uh, Diego Duran, I mean... The is the list is endless of people who have written of of uh, of these so called things and you know that was just the point I was trying to make and I hope you brothers were edified with this and you know all praises be to the Most High Shalom.